causing that defensive response, and it usually is something that we're eating. It can occasionally be something that's getting through the skin, rarely, I should say. It can rarely be something that's getting in through the nose, but 80 to 90% of your immune system is located in the digestive tract, which makes perfect sense because this is the main source of, uh, of entry of the enemy of the outside world into the inside world of the body. So for asthma, number one, step number one, before you do anything else, you got to figure out what's activating or triggering or initiating that defensive response. It usually has something to do with dairy or grains or eggs. It could have something to do with the lectins that we've talked about that we talked about for the last couple of weeks. Look to foods. Get yourself a food diary. Write down everything you eat. And by the way, if you have, is it for you, by the way, Frank, or somebody you know? It's for me. Okay, so you got to know that you have other conditions going on. Nobody just has asthma. Listen up, people. Yeah. Nobody just has has asthma. No, I'll say it again. It's so important. Nobody just has asthma. Frank, do you have a skin issue or anything? Uh, eczema, psoriasis? Do you have any kind of digestive issues that you know about? You've got to have something else going on there. Um, sometimes I get like a squeezing abdominal pain sometimes. Okay, bingo. Right there is where you want to stop it because that abdominal pain is telling you that something has entered into your digestive tract. So whenever you have that abdominal issue, you got to figure out what is going on, what, uh, what you put in your digestive system within a few hours before. So an abdominal issue is perfect. Uh, but even asthma, if you just, uh, when you have your asthmatic attack, what did I eat an hour or two hours or even sometimes quicker than that, depending on how severe your allergic response Responses or your defensive responses. It could be something you ate a half hour before, but whatever it is, it's something you put in your system. And ideally, you can want to find some multiple uh, uh, other symptoms that are going on. Usually, there's, there's a skin issue in addition to the digestive problem. There's usually a skin issue. There may be a blood pressure issue. There's some other manifestations of the stress response. Asthma is simply the most dramatic manifestation, but there's always going to be something else going on, and it's in your interest to find as many clues or as many symptoms as possible. A symptom is like a clue. And if you're going to solve a mystery, you've got to have clues. If you're going to solve a mystery of asthma or a mystery of any kind of uh, defensive response in the body, you've got to find clues. You've got to find symptoms. So for, for asthma, number one, look to uh, something that's getting into the system that's activating that defensive response. Secondly, there's some tremendous nutritional supplements that you can take that will strengthen the immune system so it doesn't have to become so jumpy. And there's also uh, wonderful nutritional supplements that you can take to strengthen the, the digestive tract track to keep things from getting into the blood through the digestive system. So let me give you a few ideas right off the bat. First of all, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a must-have. It's a liquid nutritional supplement. It'll go right to work. Can you get the BTT and the Longevity products out there in the U.K., Frank? Yeah, yeah, fine. Okay, good deal. Get on the BTT, stat, right away. Number two, get on the probiotics. There's a, The Nightly Essence is probably the best probiotic, but there's another one called the Root Beer Belly that just came out. Not quite as good, but it's a little bit uh, less expensive and it's a little tastier. Personal, personally, I like the, the Nightly Essence. Make sure you're using the Ultimate Enzymes after meals and you're activating them with apple cider vinegar. The Ultimate Enzymes can also, in addition to being good for your digestive system, they also have anti-inflammatory properties that may be beneficial for asthma. Magnesium is a superstar mineral for dealing with asthma. Get on the OsteoFX product. In fact, the Healthy Start Pack would be perfect for you because it's got the BTT, the magnesium, and the OsteoFX, and it's got the essential fatty acids, which can also be very important for dealing with asthma. Vitamin E, 400 international units a day, super important for respiratory health. Uh, if, you're, if you're a smoker, if you have uh, chronic colds, if you have chronic lung infections, COPD, or asthma, vitamin E can be one of your best nutritional supplement friends. I like the mixed to cough for all forms of vitamin E, 400 international units a day. There's something called NAC, which we'll, we'll be talking about a little bit uh, I think we'll be talking about that a little bit tomorrow when we talk about the sun. NAC stands for N-acetylcysteine, and it's so important for the lungs and for respiratory health that it's actually a prescription drug called mucomist that folks who have cystic fibrosis will use for their lungs. Um, NAC is used in emergency rooms to help detoxify the liver, and it's incredibly important for lung health. By the way, if you're a smoker, NAC and vitamin E uh, and vitamin C are all very, very important for helping protect your lungs from some of the damage is caused by cigarette smoke. Vitamin C is also important for asthma. You'll get some of that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I'd be using a little more, maybe a Beyond Tangy will give you about 1,000 milligrams for two scoops. I'd be taking 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day as well.
And a lot of strategies there for you for dealing with asthma. By far and away, the most important is for, uh, to figure out what those digestive triggers are uh, and then working on the digestive health aspect uh, using the ultimate enzymes and the probiotics and apple cider vinegar and then working directly with the lungs using magnesium, vitamin C, vitamin E, NAC, getting on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, getting yourself on that healthy start pack. That can uh, go a long way towards helping improve asthma. But by far and away, the most important way to deal with asthma or any immune issue is to focus on what is active that defensive response, what's turning on the immune system, what is initiating the defensive activity that shows up as constriction in the, uh, in the blood vessels and the bronchioli in the lungs that are so characteristic of asthma. Does that help you, buddy? Yeah, no, thanks, bro. Thanks a lot. Thank you. God bless. Good luck. I uh, hope everything works out for you. All right, uh, moving on. Let's see. Uh, Mary in Michigan. What's up? Ma- uh, Michigan Mary, what's up? Welcome to the hey. Bright Side. How's it going? Thank you so much. Um, my son uh, was just diagnosed with lichen planus, oral mm-hmm. lichen planus, and um, they put him on steroids. Dude, and I'm worried about are you that. trying to make? Are you just trying to make me angry here this morning? Do you know how yeah. nasty those steroid drugs are? They are just the nastiest. And, and there's a lot of nasty drugs out there. How do steroid drugs work? And I, I, I will play a little, uh, give you a little quiz here. Do you know how steroid drugs work? I'm assuming it's going to suppress his immune system. So Mary, Mary, how did you know that? I was going to, I was going to tell you that. But how did you know that it was going to? Uh, have you been listening to the program, or you just knew that? I've been listening. Good deal. Good deal. That's exactly how steroids work. They suppress the immune system. This is the iconic example of the idiocy of what I call the medical model. Now, the immune system is designed by the divine force, by nature, to protect you, to protect you from enemies. And there's enemies everywhere in terms of bacteria and viruses and toxins and funguses. They're all over the place. And so the, God has given us a defense system to protect us from, from these invaders, these would-be invaders. Do you suppose it ever makes any sense to suppress this defensive mechanism? What, what is the craziness? What kind of planet are we on where we have a medical model that thinks that it's healing? to suppress the immune system. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. There's no reason why you shouldn't live to be at least 100 and have a great time getting there. And I'm going to give you a free copy of my lecture that tells you exactly how to do it. In fact, after you've lived a long and healthy life, there should be only two documents in your medical chart, a birth certificate and a death certificate. I'm Dr. Wallach with a warning. If you have a four-inch medical chart, if you take prescription drugs for high cholesterol, high blood pressure, arthritis, joint pains, and other health issues, the medical profession is failing you. They're using you for an ATM machine. My free lecture is going to reveal what pharmaceutical companies don't want you to know. There's been groundbreaking research and discovery on how to effectively treat or eliminate over 900 different diseases naturally. It's all in my free lecture called Deadly Recipe. So call toll-free 1-855-79-YOUNG. Again, that's toll-free 1-855-79-YOUNG. 1-855-79-YOUNG. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HDTV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. 
situation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Whoa! This is big! Not just big, it's the Freeze Dry Guys Giant Factory Authorized Sale. This month, save 30 to 45% off on number 10 cans of high quality Mountain House freeze dried foods from the Freeze Dry Guy. Factory fresh stock just arrived, so now is the time to stock up with the finest, best tasting, longest proven shelf life foods in the industry at giant savings of 30 to 45% off. But hurry, supplies are limited to only the stock we have on hand. Call 866 404 3663. Free shipping to the lower 48 states. Click freezedryguide.com or call 866-404-3663. That's freezedryguide.com. Hurry, the giant factory authorized Mountain House sale is going on now. Only from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long term storage. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Mary in Michigan about uh, lichen planus, lichen plant, oral lichen planus. That's uh, uh, white patches, red patches in the mouth, I assume, right? Is that correct, Mary? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so now the doctors give you a steroid. A steroid is an immune suppressant. So what does that tell you logically? Well, obviously, it tells you that lichen planus is the manifestation of immune activation. That's why they give you a steroid. If you want to know if your uh, your health condition involves some kind of immune reaction, just look at the drugs they're giving you. They give you an immune suppressant to so-called treat, whatever that means, treat uh, whatever you're dealing with, then you probably have an immune reaction. Well, once again... Whenever you have an immune reaction, focus on the digestive system. And almost all health issues that are degenerative in nature involve the immune system, which means almost all health conditions that are degenerative in nature somehow involve the digestive tract. It's really quite as simple as that. It doesn't sound magical. It doesn't sound sexy, but it's just basic biochemistry. If something is activating the immune system, if something is activating the uh, inflammatory system in the body, which is what red swollen tissue is when you have it in your mucous membranes or you have it on your skin or anywhere else, then you've got to focus on something that's getting into the body. So, number one, focus on foods. Look to food allergies. Look to food intolerances. Look to lectin-containing foods. The biggest culprits are going to be dairy, grains, peanuts, eggs, and soy, but it could be anything. That's step number one. If you can find some digestive symptoms like gas or heartburn or loose stools or constipation, then you're going to be ahead of the game. If you if you don't know if there's any digestive symptoms, look closely. And if you have a kid, sometimes they don't like talking about their digestive issues. How old is your kid, by the way? Um, he's 28. Oh, okay. Well, he ain't no kid, really. Uh, but he should know. He'll know if he has any. Di- Does he have a history of digestive problems? Um, no, but lately he's had trouble with his stomach. So okay. he cut out cheese, and he said that helped. Well, you're on the right track there, but there's probably more. As long as he's got that that inflammation in his mouth, there's probably more stuff. So you're on the right track, though. That's a a good job cutting out cheese. Uh, If cheese cutting out cheese helps, chances are uh, cutting out all dairy will make a a big difference. Uh, uh, There's components in milk and in whey, for that matter, that are not in cheese that he may be having a reaction to. Grains are a big problem for folks. You know all the likely suspects. Uh, Secondly, lichen planus may involve fungal infections. Anytime you have fungal infections, uh, look to probiotics. Probiotics, uh, good bacteria, can balance out fungus. Uh, This can be true not just for lichen planus, but if you have systemic yeast infections or vaginal yeast infections or toenail fungus or any kind of fungal infections, you want to balance the fungus, balance the fungal infection out with bacteria. Bacteria and fungus live in a balance in the body, and when the bacteria get thrown off either through eating dairy or taking antibiotics or eating fish or meat, 
a fungus can overgrow. So using probiotics is a great strategy for helping balance out fungal infections. Get on the nightly essence, use fermented foods, sauerkraut, miso, tempeh, kefir, any kind of fungal infections. Look to uh, look to uh, either fermented foods, or not either, but both fermented foods and uh, probiotic supplements like the nightly essence. Secondly, use nutritional support. Get on the bone soup. Wonderful for the digestive system. Use glutamine powder. 